Hey everybody, Canadian Trapper. Well, uh, spring has finally arrived. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in New Brunswick and I decided to take the family out to the Maple Sugar Camps. Uh, it's a pretty nice day to be out here today. So I thought I'd bring the camera along. Plus I'm gonna have a little bit, a little giveaway I've got at the end of the video. So uh, hang around and uh, you'll see what I'm giving away. If you subscribe and uh, comment down below, you'll have an opportunity to win uh, what I'm giving away, but I'll explain the rules later. So I have a retired coworker and a friend of mine. Uh, he's gonna give us a little tour. He works up here, Bob Smith, and uh, he's been uh, working up here for an awful long time. He knows the process quite well, so he's gonna to explain to us how they make maple syrup and uh, give us a little tour around the camp. So let's get going. Well, here's the road going down to the camp. Uh, we parked out on the road. It's pretty sloppy in here. Everything's melting. You guys can see all those buckets on the trees. Uh, that's how they used to do it. Things have changed and uh, Bob's going to explain that to us, how they do things today and uh, give a little bit of explanation what all these blue cords are running through the woods. Anyway, so uh, here's the road and uh, here's the buckets. So we're going to take a walk down and check this process out. But the blue lines have only got about, I don't know, 100, 100 or so taps on them. Yeah. And every blue line goes to a black line. Okay. So those black lines go up through the woods there. Over oh, some of them, I bet you're a mile long. At least. Wow. Maybe longer. The black lines bring it here. The black lines bring it here. So they tap the tree, then the, there's a blue lines hooked to the tap. Blue lines all feed into the black lines, and then the black lines all feed into the evaporator at the end of the line. And everything runs downhill, so there's a shed down there. Some of the black lines can't come here because it's uphill, so they're going to that one. There's another shed way down there. And uh, over on the other side of the road, it's the same thing. There's a whole bunch of sheds with tanks in them, thousand gallon tanks. So when he he goes to all those sheds with the tractor, there's no other way to get it there. So they, they go down, they pump it into the tanks behind the tractor there. Mm -hmm. And he hauls it up here and he dumps it in these tanks here and then it can run down here. Grab the tractor, these tanks here? Up here, dumps it into those tanks on the side. They can run downhill. Wow, it's quite a process, boys. Well, if it's uh, running good, we got both evaporators going. We can make 60 or more gallons of syrup a day. So you figure two guys, we're pumping the wood in there. And this is the old way, hey? Tap on a tree. <laughs> Drive the tap in the tree. And then it would drip into the bucket. How many, how much gallons would you get out of here? Uh, you should get anywhere from 800 to 1,200 gallons, gallons of syrup. Wow. Of syrup? Not yeah. And then multiply that by 40 and you get how much sap you've got to have. Yeah, wow. about 32,000 gallons. Wow. Well, there's about 15,000 taps in up here. Wow. Very close to it. About 80 quarter season. 80 quarter season. It's running in the end one up here. It runs continuously. And as it gets heavier, it goes through one of these pipes and comes down this way. And it gets heavier still, it goes through this pipe 
and into these. And it works its way around to the other side. And that the other side is set up just like this. So he just watches that. And when it hits the number seven, which is actually 219 degrees, then he pours some off. It drops a half a degree. You have to shut it off and let it eat up again. 40 gallons of sap makes one gallon of maple syrup, syrup. roughly. So then it goes from there, you said, and then through these filters over here? Yeah. These ones over here? Yeah. So we filter it through that cloth. Okay. When it's done and it comes out there, it's maple syrup. Yeah. That's, that's what you're filtering out. What is that? Well, they call it sugar sand, just the maple sand or whatever. You can see the different colors in it. So that was at the start of the year? And it's it was it's you go to the end where it gets darker later. Is there a difference in the taste from the start of the year to the end of the year? I find there is. I'd rather have the end of the year than the start of the year. We're the Cour de Bois, met the Iroquois, the Micmac and the Cree. The trapper and the woodsman came and left this legacy. To roam the woods, to fish and hunt, and always to be free. And to stand up for our culture in the land of the maple tree. On our snowshoe webs we often tread our true north wonderland. So far away from the city life where folks don't understand The beauty and tranquility that's here on every hand And you'll find no better place on earth than living in this land By a swift canoe we paddle through those rivers, lakes and streams Then sit beside our campfires and stare at the bright moonbeams our way of life is not as tough or as harsh as it may seem. This is the life that most men live, but only in their dreams. And Oz, we stand in awe of the beautiful sights we see. Those woods and lakes and rivers from Newfoundland to BC. Where the beaver and the otter swim and the moose and the deer roam free. This is the land of Manitou and it's always calling me. Where softer men have never been, we port each with our gear. Where the distant call of a waterfall is a welcome sound to hear. Where the salmon hide by the riverside, we'll camp for another day. And tonight we'll dream of that other stream in the distant Milky Way. Where the Coeur de Bois met the Iroquois, the Blackfoot and the Cree. The trapper and the woodsman came and left this legacy. To roam the woods, to trap and hunt, and always to be free. And to stand up for our culture in the land of the maple tree. And to stand up for our culture in the land of the maple tree. So this is the store here. Would you like to try some cream to make sure you're buying a good product? <laughs> what do you think? 
Does it taste like another piece? Is it, are you <laughs> It's funny, eh? We got the butter and the cream, and it's so easy to mix it up. Mm. Do you want one liter or two mm -hmm. liters? Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you very much, sir. Two liter, Jeff? I'm going to have a big ball of the syrup and a little cream. Yes, some of each. We'll get two liters of the. All right, thank you. Uh, see. Let's 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 see. All right, guys. Well, we made it back from the sugar camp. Everybody's kind of tuckered out. It was a long day, although we didn't do as much work as those guys did stirring up the maple cream. So, like I said earlier, we were gonna, I'm going to do a giveaway, and I have a little contest. Uh, I picked up a bottle of maple syrup and a bar of maple cream, and uh, I'm going to give these two things away. Uh, I'm going to do a draw, and the contest will end on April 30th. I will do a draw on the 1st of May. And uh, it'll be for this bar of maple cream, which you guys saw them making today, and this bottle of maple syrup. Uh, what you have to do to enter to get uh, in the contest is you have to be a subscriber to my channel, you have to like this video, and you have to say in the suggestions below that uh, you want into the contest. It's not a prerequisite, but whoever wins the contest, um, if you could do an opening of the package, I'm going to send it to you in a package. The only thing I hope, there's no agricultural restrictions uh, for this to cross any borders. But I guess we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. So, I uh, hope everybody enters. I hope you like the video of the Maple Sugar Camp. So, uh, put your name down below and uh, get in for uh, this great maple syrup and maple butter. So, thanks for watching. Where the Coeur de Bois met the Iroquois, the Micmac and the Cree. The trapper and the woodsman came and left this legacy.